Hi guys, welcome to my page. In this video, I'll be showing you how I do my perm rod sets. To style, I'll be using the True by Made Beautiful Moisturizing Styling Foam and Hydrating Hair Butter. I apply the hydrating hair butter first, using about a fingertip full to the small section here in the front. I like to do zigzag parts, as you can see, because they keep the hair from being too separated once this dries. It's easier to blend the parts together when they're zigzag. Then on top of the hydrating hair butter, I apply the moisturizing styling foam. This front piece I can section off into two separate pieces. And then I start to braid. So I like to begin each of my sections off with a braid and I'm going to braid down to a little bit above the halfway point. So the reason why I like to start off with a braid for my perm rod sections is because it provides a good amount of volume once dry. So here I'm going to take my comb and just smooth out the hair here and I'm going to begin to wrap around the perm rod. So I start with the ends first. Make sure that is nice and secure before I begin to wind the length of the hair around the perm rod. So I'm not really, I'm not taking it and rolling it. I'm winding it around. And when you wind the hair around the perm rod, I find that you're left with more of a telephone cord curl or more of a spiral instead of just a flat ribbon curl. And then secure. Okay, now I'm repeating the process again with the smaller section in the front, starting off with the braid. Again, I'm only braiding down to a little bit above the halfway point. You always want to make sure you get the, the kinks out of that section of hair before you begin rolling. Okay, so secure the ends first, and then you're going to roll the length of the hair over your ends to secure them. And begin winding up the length of the hair. And secure. Okay, I'm gonna speed through these last two sections to get to the good part. Okay, so I am all done for now. I'm gonna let this air dry overnight, and then in the morning, I will take it down. The most important part of a successful perm rod set is how you take down your hair. So I will show you that process in the morning. See you then. Okay, so here we are. I have taken out the majority of my hair. As you can see, it is full of volume thanks to the braids at the root. So I'm going to gently remove the top piece and slowly unwind the hair from the perm rod. You want to be gentle here because you don't want to mess up the shape of the curl. 
And again, I'm going to gently remove the top portion and slowly unwind the curl from the rod, making sure that I keep the same curl shape. These other two parts have already been removed. So here I'm going to carefully, again, careful is key here. I'm going to carefully undo the braid, being sure to keep the curls in the same sections that they were braided in. And then I'm going to separate each section. I am carefully twirling the ends because that is where the hair was mostly on the perm rod because the braids were at the root, so I'm focusing most of my twirling on the ends. And don't mind me because I'm a perfectionist, so I tend to redo each coil or each curl until it sits perfectly. And you don't have to do this, but that's just me. And I, it's just a thing for me, I have to do it. So I tend to go over each section until it comes out the way that I think it should look. Sometimes it bounces right back, Sometimes I have to do it a few times. And this looks like it is time consuming, but I literally done did this in about 15 to 20 minutes tops. I move very fast. And I'm going to repeat the process again carefully unbraiding, but still keeping the curls in their sectioned pieces. And then I'm going to start with one piece of the braided section and begin twirling the ends, separating and twirling the ends. I promise you it doesn't take a long time. Once you get the hang of it, you zip right through your head. Even if your hair is long, I, I used to do this on my longer hair, and I would just zip right through it. And this style would last me for a few days, if not a week. Okay, so now to get more volume at the roots, I fluff with my pick, and here is where you're going to blend those zigzag parts together. And as you can see, I don't really have any separation at the roots because of my zigzag parts. However, if you do notice that your parts are not blending, take a water bottle and just gently spritz the roots. And here we go, here's the final look. Thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. This is just my second video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.